I wanted to show y'all something. But last week at work, I won a TV. It's 43 inches. Can y'all believe it? It was for a raffle for attendance. Mom, you're asleep. My mama fell asleep on me. So I'm up by myself packing for next week because next week on Wednesday we leave because she got she has to go to Chicago. So she's not coming to Georgia. I'm already right to Georgia by myself. Hmm. Um, but no, I won a TV last week at work for it was like a weekly raffle. <clears throat> it was like two people that won TVs, I think. I won upstairs because our work is separated by floors. I won upstairs and I think someone else won downstairs. So 43 inch TV with the fire stick included. With, it's like a smart TV. So I gotta figure out how to I'm so happy. Now I have a new TV for my house. I went to new things. Um we are about to pack because earlier today I finished my application to Chamberlain and I'm waiting on my advisor to um, <clears throat> contact me back so so I can um, set up my date for my test for next week. Right now I have to, I'm going to study a little bit tonight. Like I'm just going to go over some questions and then I'm going to pack. I might study tomorrow and then just pack tonight and then study on Saturday too. Because I only have to work two days next week, which is Sunday and Monday. And then I'm off Tuesday because I'm going to use that day to study. I'm just excited. I printed out all my check stubs, transcripts, employee verification forms. I printed out my passion statement because with Chamberlain, you have to explain any grades that you have failed. And I failed microbiology. I had got a C- minus and I had to retake it. So I had to explain what happened there. It is a lot of things I have to do. Um, I have to print out one of the apartments I'm interested in. You have to do a paper application. So I printed that out. This is the first outfit. The jacket I'm not going to wear in the airport, but it's just for all the outfits over the next couple of days. So this is my airport outfit, I think. Don't quote me. I might change my man. Y'all know how I am. Um, it's just a simple green jumpsuit. Not even a jumpsuit, but a two-piece set. Same color, simple, basic. It'll get me to point A to point B for a long day of traveling because we waking up going to Oakland, uh, which is an hour and 30 minutes away from here at like 2, 3 in the morning. Her flight is at 6, mine is at 7, so we got to be there early from 7 until I think about 2 Atlanta time. I'll be traveling. Then I got to go get my food, go to the airport. I mean, go check out, go pick up my rental car. It's just my day going to be long, so I need to be comfortable. But I low-key want to be cute and I might wear this to the airport. But, okay. No. Next outfit. Those fake karachis I was telling y'all about, which is so cute because it got, like, glitter and stuff in it. I'm just, I'm okay. Okay. I'm excited. Then I got the matching pink purse, which I might switch out because it has gold accent, but my shoes is silver. Does it make sense? Like, you can't wear, like, silver and gold together, I thought. I thought she was to match it up. You know? I was going to switch this out for my pink purse. But I don't know. I think these are just so cute with this outfit, you know? I'll be really comfortable and really cute with the gold hoops. You know, to match the hoop in my, my purse, you know. I'm lame. Okay. But no, it's the sweater set I was showing y'all earlier. That's my wallet. I'm going to change out so my I can fit my wallet into these little purses that I plan on wearing. Because my big wallet won't fit. Then I have this two piece set right here with the matching leggings with the big silver hoops and the cute little black purse that let me show y'all what it comes with. It comes with a little keychain. Ain't that cute? And then I'm gonna wear my fake black hirachis because my other hirachis that I've been wearing at work got a hole in them and they going in the trash after I quit this job. So yeah, I had to buy some new ones. I'm gonna actually buy the real ones when I actually finish moving, but I have responsibilities and I wanna move comfortable first, so I'm on a budget. So next outfit, I have a cute jumpsuit. It's giving me real 70s skating, roller skating vibes that I'm gonna wear with my Converse that are washing right now because they're so dirty. They're not even cute at this point, but I have, so I had to wash them. I don't know what purse I'm going to wear with this because the colors are so weird. I might just switch it and just wear it with the black purse and just call it a day, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do about this outfit. Like, I'm stuck. That's why it looks so empty over here. Then, I have my coming back to back here, Sacramento outfit. Cheetah two-piece set, simple, boom, boom, boom. Then I have the backpack that I plan on wearing to Atlanta. I was thinking about wearing my van 
army green backpack with this army green outfit, but it would look funky with the cheetah outfit. You get what I'm saying? Like, it would just be weird. <sighs> I don't know. But I know one thing. It matches this outfit. And this is the outfit I'm wearing back. Actually, no, I can't wear this outfit back because I'm already going to be in this outfit for the open house. So it just makes sense for me to wear this backpack. Okay, never mind. Answer my own question. So, that's my airport back outfit. That's Saturday, right? So this is Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we got the backup just in case something goes wrong. Um... Oh, and my pajamas. Got my little flippers and my little pajama set. Um, and that's really it. But that black and white outfit, though, that's my favorite. By far, it is the cutest. I love black anyway. I love wearing black. It's my favorite color to wear. I'm so excited. And then this cute little purse. I'm really getting out of wearing big purses because they just aggravating for you know no reason. Plus, it's not that serious. Like I'm just going to visit apartments, show me y'all little houses. Thank you very much, you know. So we basically all packed. I gotta pack my makeup and like my toothpaste, everything else, and then I'm done. Hey y'all. So I'm in the airport, as y'all can see, it's dead empty. Because it's like four in the morning and my flight not till seven. Ooh. And my flight not till seven. But my mama dropped me off early because her flight is at six. So we had to be here early so she can be here on time. And we didn't know how the like the airport was gonna look because you know the TSA workers not getting paid. So we just didn't know. Like we was confused. But I walked right up to the thing, checked in, it took me about ten minutes to get through TSA. I'm like We could have been in the bed for an extra hour. But no, I'm just happy we're here. We made it. She's in a different terminal than me, so we had to split up. She did not want to leave me. She wanted me to go to with her to park the car, but I couldn't because I'm in a different terminal than her. So it would have been that I would have had to walk from her terminal down to mine, and that would have been like, no, because I didn't have a jacket on. And then I had to get my jacket out of my luggage. Then I had to, it was just a big struggle, but I made it. I'm fine. I'm not picking up the phone, but that's cool. Y'all made it to Atlanta. I got an SUV, y'all. Oh, that oh, that turned on so quiet. Oh, I'm so used to royalty. Dun, 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 dun. Turn it on like she angry. I'm about to go to Hattie Marie's and get me a plate or something. Like I need some food. Okay, charging my phone. So it's holding my rental car at the front desk. They charged me $150 because I got the full insurance on it because this is not my car. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to um, be out here just driving on. Okay. Okay. No. Okay, y'all. We off. We out of there. We on our way. I got to be careful with this car because, baby, you press the gas a little and you are off. Okay. Okay. So, we about to go place my Because Hattie Marie said you got to come in and just place the order because they dropped the food fresh. In other words, we don't want you running off and placing these orders and not coming to get the food. So, I have to go in and place my order and wait for 15 minutes. Mind you, I got to pee. Mind you, I got to drive halfway across Atlanta just to get to my hotel room. Then I got to go to Target and UPS before 7. I'm really in Atlanta, y'all. I could cry right now. I think tomorrow, after I take my test, like, because I take my test tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., after I take my test, it's going to be like... <laughs> I take my test tomorrow morning. I'm nervous. I won't lie to you. Like, I am nervous. Okay. Okay, I'm about to. I'm on a vlog, mama. Say hey to the vlog. Hey, vlog. Okay, so I'm about to show the room. I got my fridge. I'm going to call you back when I'm going. I'm going now to get the. Um, let's get popping and you're going to give me some chicken. Okay, bye, mama. Kitchen area microwave it's a it's a cheap room 
It's not bathroom. It's real straight and simple to the point. It's not too crazy. TV area. Bed area. And that's really it. Like, I tried to go as cheap as possible with the room. Oh, let me show you my food. It was pretty quick. She made it fresh. They made it fresh. It took about 15 minutes. And I got a shrimp basket with fries and mac and cheese. I'm debating if I just want to lay down now because I'm so tired. Like, I can't even. I can't even. Okay. I want to wrap my head up and hop in the bed. That's really how I'm feeling. We are on our way to Walmart instead of Target. I decided to go the cheaper route because I know Walmart be texting. I mean, Target be texting. And I already spent $30 on this food, so... Y'all, that traffic, um, the Atlanta traffic is bad as they say. I'll give them that. But I made it through the traffic. It's not like you can't make it through it. It's not like it's impossible. And y'all scooching all the way back there. It's not like it's impossible, but it's beautiful out here. Sandy Springs is nice. It's more businessy, but it's cute. I wouldn't live out here. Y'all, the traffic is bad, but what makes it worse is the aggressive drivers. Like, y'all are aggressive. Girl, I was doing, I was pushing 70, 80 on the expressway. Somebody tried to go around me. I'm like, okay, I'm doing, what you want me to do? I'm doing the very best I can. They go Target. I should have just went right there because it was right here. So it's really raining out here, but y'all can see the car. Like it is so cute. Oh my God. It is perfection. Y'all, it is just the cutest car ever. I love it. I'm taking the off brand. It's the same thing as the Nyquil, but they just hike up the price. But I'm taking some daytime uh, cold medicine because so many people were sneezing and snotting and blowing. Whew, honey, the girl next to me that was sitting like a seat rope, a rope, like a seat away from me, because there was nobody in between us. She had blew her nose. She had been coughing the whole time. She had blew her nose, opened the tissue, and looked at it. So let me wipe this room down before I do my hair. So if you are anyone that is like me, that hates germs, I suggest going to a local Walmart, grabbing a big thing of Lysol, or just bringing one from home, because I should have brought one from home, and just wipe down the areas you know you're going to touch. Like, I know I'm going to touch over here. The dirt. Off the phone. Wow. Also, if you don't trust the, um, like, the tub on the inside, or if you didn't bring any, like, um, like shower shoes, you can use one of their towels and put it in there. That's like a thing. Good morning. Today is test day. Oh, I just got nervous when I said that out loud. Um, I'm dramatic. I'm so nervous. I'm up at 7. The test, I'm supposed to be there at 8.30, so I got an hour. Well, I sh I'm going to leave a little bit before that, so I got like 40 minutes, okay? I'm about to beat it on way bills on, okay? No, no games played. I'm so excited. I'm going to wear something crazy. I'm going to wear some glittery stuff to my test. <laughs> you probably going to be like, who is this girl with all this glitter on? Vivian. We want to get food, apartments, and testing today. So just pray that I pass the test, because I find out right away, like after I finish the test, if I pass it or not. Just pray for me, y'all. I just, I can't, get, I got, okay? I got time. I've been studying, studying, studying. I don't have time to just fail. I just don't. I really don't. My mama says she think I'm a pass. She got a feeling I'm a pass. I'm like, Lord, because you know when your mama be having feelings, they be coming to fruition. fruition. So we got to believe it. I know I'm going to do good because I really work hard. I worked hard studying this past two months on the test. And I have confidence in myself that I'm a pass test. God, I put a little fire under my butt to pass this, so I'm gonna pass this. So I'm about to pray and then put on some type of makeup because I can't go out here bare face today. I want to show you my outfit, but it's so dark in here. Yeah, can see. Oh, I got my hair done. I'm gonna put on some makeup. Oh, 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 I'm gonna put on some makeup.
simple black outfit. Hey y'all. So um how do I turn this off? I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, yeah. Hey y'all, so I made it to um Chamberlain. The campus is nice. It's so dreary outside. It just makes it look depressing, but it's cool. It's small. It's quaint. It's a lot of people waiting in their car, so I don't know if these are people trying to take their test too or what. But um, I'm excited. I'm so nervous right now. I'm trying to eat pretzels to calm my stomach, like calm my stomach, because I think I got like heartburn or indigestion or something because them Nyquil Dayquil pills they mess. They really mess my stomach up. I think I had to eat on top of the pills and I didn't what I did was I got up in the middle of the night and took a second set and didn't eat and just went straight to sleep and my stomach is like it's trying to fight me and I'm not feeling it at all Whew. but it's better now I drank some water what else did I do I ate some pretzels I'm eating pretzels because that's kind of like a bread you know that's what my grandma would tell me to do eat like a bread or something or my mama but I'm so nervous y'all I'm sorry for chewing my stomach just hurts I want to show y'all the campus, like the actual campus, which I'm excited about. Let me turn it on. You can kind of see there's the building over there. And I have to walk down some steps to get there. You can see the Chamberlain sign from the street. I was like, oh, they go Chamberlain. I could show y'all the hospitals. The hospital is right over there. And it's all by, like the whole hospital is behind us. Mm, okay. Maybe they do clinicals like they just walk over the clinicals because I would say some gas. Girl, bye. Mm -mm. But I heard clinicals is all over, like Georgia. It could be an hour away, it could be whatever. Whatever they send you is where you're doing your clinicals at, basically. And you better deal with it. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. I'm nervous. As y'all can see, I'm rambling. <sighs> okay, so let me go in. Um, We got to be there at 8.30, at 8 so... Here we go. The next time I talk to y'all, I'm going to be telling y'all my score. Oh my god! I got a <laughs> pass. <laughs> I passed. Yes, but tell me about your good news. You can't put the truth on your Girl, I got a 77. When I tell you I was freaking out because I took the first three um sections and I failed them. The the sciences, the anatomy, the the anatomy, the biology, the chemistry bombed it got a 64 a 64 and a 52 failed it and then the rest of the test i was getting 90 90 90 80 80 80 80 i was like oh thank god and it saved my butt and i got a 77 girl and i got a 77 so the lowest you can get is what the lowest grade overall I could get was a 73 or a 72, but he said since I okay. didn't, since I already took the classes already and I got above a 72 in the classes, that I don't have to retake the class and I'm fine. Okay. You talked to him already. Yeah, he, we met, I met talk with my advisor after the test. I was like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, they said, they said, okay, wait well, right here. You're going to meet with your advisor. And at that point, I met with my advisor. Luckily, I'm so happy. I'm so smart. I brought my transcripts. They said, do you have your transcripts with you? I was like, yeah, they out in the car. Let me go get them. <laughs> so I had to go get my transcripts and my statement, and I gave it to him right there. So he said, in two to three days, he's going to call me and let me know the decision. Oh, my God. Two to three days. I'm mm -hmm. nervous. So that's that's Monday, girl. I passed my that's test. Monday. I passed my test. I passed my test. I passed my test, girl. I was so nervous, Mama. When I tell you, I saw I was failing. I was like, Oh my god! I was like, I cannot come all this way and just fail this exam. I just I don't have time. I just I flew all this way, spent eight hundred dollars. Okay, sitting in this Ooh. hotel, traveling, working at Amazon. I ain't got time. So, uh -oh. I'm about to go. Um, so, have you looked? Huh? What you say? Have you looked at any apartments? I'm going today. Have you looked at any apartments? I'm going okay. today. 
right now, actually. I gotta get some food because okay. my stomach is growling. Let me see the school. Let me see the school. Oh, yeah. Turn around so you can see the school. He did a stomping ground for the next two years. I feel on top of the world right now because that was my biggest like concern like I came all the way down here like I have to do what I have to do like I don't even got time I don't have time I literally don't have time and for games and and I don't have the money for it I gotta do what I gotta do oh wait let me find a Wendy's first before I um, stop okay I'm hungry I'm about to find me some food uh, y'all I'm just so on top of the world I feel like I haven't showed y'all nothing about Georgia like with my North Carolina vlog, I was showing y'all stuff. This time, I'm not really showing y'all stuff because this is really business, to be honest. This is a business trip. I'm just pulling y'all along. The best part about this trip is about to be these apartment tours tomorrow or later today. Um, The Waze was talking about it's going to take me 47 minutes to get to the apartment. And it's 3 o'clock. So 47 minutes. It's going to be 4 by the time I get there. Let's see what time the office closed. They're going to have a, um end of the day attitudes going. So, because I know I'll be having mine. Like, why is you over here? And I got two more hours on my shift. So, I don't want to deal with that. I want to go right when they wake up and have their breakfast. And it closed at 6. So, um, I might drive past it, but I ain't going to go in there. I don't know. I got to make up my mind. Give me, give me a chance after I eat. Because my mind is discombobulated. That test was five hours, and I used almost all five. One girl left after two hours. We were still in there. We looked like... Because it was her second time taking it, too. Because she said she just wanted... She just taking it just for a higher score. Girl, you you took it because you failed a, probably failed a portion of it and couldn't didn't have a class to put in place for that class. Because, like, with Chamberlain, like, if you fail something on the HESI, like, if you get lowered in the 72, if you have a college credit that is higher than a 72, it will take place of that. Luckily for me, I did. Period. So maybe she had to take retake it for a certain, like a test score. Because if you take it the second time, all you can do is really click through the other parts, get failed on parts, and pass the parts you really need to pass. And they'll still take your highest score anyway. So, And he told me I had an 82. That's the part that I forgot to tell y'all. My composite score through HESI was 82, but for Chamberlain, they said I had an 82 percent i passed with 82 percent hey y'all so i forgot to record in the um movie but it was good y'all ain't missed nothing it was the i went and saw the um the escape room because i haven't been to the movies in since i was back in hampton so it's been almost a year pretty much since i walked into a movie and sat down by myself um the movie was good escape room was like an eight out of ten i liked it i liked the idea of it because i already didn't like escape rooms like the idea of them but when you start adding death i knew i was right don't go to them period i said what i said but what we about to do is this is i'm not staying in my room tonight i decide i'm feeling it like i'm feeling good i didn't go to the apartment obviously but what i'm gonna do is drive around um, at least my top three choice is tonight. Just, just, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to be looking around the neighborhood, driving around for like a good two, three hours. Um, and I wanted to go to Piedmont Park too, but it's late at night. So I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm not, I'm not a local obviously. So I probably shouldn't. We about to go do that. I just need to like take a breath for a second and just stop because the adrenaline from like earlier from my test, it had me going. Like, I have never had, like, adrenaline while taking a test. Bruh. I had to stop, go to the bathroom, do something, and then come back to the test. That's how bad my adrenaline was going. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, I just need a moment. I need to brush my teeth because my breath was hot. Talking to my advisor, I felt so bad. My breath was stinking so bad. Okay, y'all, so I made it, and what I'm going to do is do a quick drive around at nighttime just to see how quiet the um, apartment is. I hope y'all can see past that nasty fog right there. So I'm going to try to hold my stuff if I can, and uh, we're going to ride around real quick. See how rowdy they get around here. See if it's quiet, see what it look like, you know. This one is more on the expensive side, kind of, for the renovated units. Um, but it looks nice though, like it's not bad. 
And I don't see nobody acting a fool. So yeah, if you ever come to visit your apartment in like a different state or just anywhere, wherever you are, make sure you come at night. My mama always taught me this. She always talks about this. Make sure you come and see the apartments at nighttime. See who's hanging out. See if there's anyone hanging out. See how noisy and rowdy it is. See how clean it is. See if it's worth your time coming to visit. Look at the cars or the people that live next to you. To me, it looked fine. Like, I'm on a budget at this point, and I really cannot be too picky. I, You know. So, I can be try to be safe as possible, but I'm not picky. Okay. Let me turn this around. But, um, no, for real. Um, so, it looked cool. Like, it don't even look bad. And a lot of people hanging out. It ain't loud. It ain't rowdy. I should come over here on a Saturday night, but I can't because I'm going home. So, this is one of my top options. Me and my mother love this one. For a one-bedroom, I think it ran like, ooh, eight-something for a renovated unit, which is cool. It come with a sunroom. It's fine. It's just me. So, this is our top option that me and her both agree on. Now, we're going to go to the other one that me and her both agree on. My, my second option. Y'all... Hold up. So I'm driving out of this place, right? And guess who I see back there flashing with their lights? The police. I don't know what happened, but okay, the police is here. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so let me get out of here. I'm going to still come see it tomorrow morning, though. I know I am. Okay, bye, y'all. I hope y'all can just see and get the gist of it. Um... The gate works over here, which is really good, so I couldn't get in. Um, and it looks clean. I see the garbage man is over there picking up trash right now. I don't know if you can see that blinking person right there. Um, and, yeah, it looks nice. It don't look bad. It is in a different little neighborhood, but I'm going to see what it looks like in the daytime. It don't seem too bad. And this is the front side, so you never know what the back look like. But I ain't walking over there, so period. I ain't getting on my car. So, yeah, um, those are my top two. I'm trying to think of the other ones that's around here that I can just drive to real quick and just look around. I'm really upset that me and my mama's top choice did not have that gate working, honey. Anybody was driving up in there. I drove up in there. Oh, 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 oh honey. Fix that gate for $900 for a one-bedroom or $800, whatever, for a one-bedroom. Fix it. It's ridiculous. Throw that out because I don't need it. Um we could go over to decatur let's see how far that is from here 13 minute drive i mean why not okay so these are the apartments and um they don't have a gate it's just straight up open to the highway honey they basically saying everybody comes through oh yes they do have a little gate oh it's broken uh -uh. the gate broke somebody hit the gate back there Wow, somebody hit the gate. Y'all can't even see it. I'll show y'all in the morning. But these the apartments, though. They're not ugly. I forgot what the name of these is. The Domain at Cedar Creek. This is in Decatur. Okay, so these ones are nicer. It's right by the expressway, which is could be good for me. Um, as far as... Hold on, y'all. Let me bust a U-turn. As far as going to school and stuff. Um... I know it's like a Target or something around here. Let me see what's around here. Okay, so there's a Target around here. We're about to go over there real quick. And just stop for a second. And just look and see what stores is around here. But it look cute. I don't see a lot of trash. I see a mixed group of folks coming in here. But they need to fix these potholes. That's not cute. Okay. So, I made it to Target. It's pretty empty over here. Maybe because it's so late at night. Um, it is 9 o'clock. So, I wish I could have drove around uh, Decatur a little bit more around that apartment. But it didn't look bad. Like, it just looked like it was in the middle of the woods. That's all. All of them got the, the negatives, to be honest. Because the price range. But it's fine. I'll be up there with the buckhead soon. You know what I'm saying. When I get my career right. 
You gotta give me a chance. <laughs> I really want to give me some checkers because checkers is calling my name. That's why they the street. I ain't had checkers in about six, seven months since I've been back in Hampton. Now, that's what I miss about black communities. They always have a checkers. Always. Always. Either it's going to be called rallies or checkers. It's the same thing. Okay? I want me some of that, though. I like that. Should I go look at another apartment? All the other apartments I want to look at is in Lithonia. I hope I'm saying that right. Or um, Atlanta. I have only one apartment for Atlanta that I'm interested in. The rest was trash. Period. Period. And I'm not living in East Point. Because I don't really know much about East Point. And East Point is like, from what I was reading, it's like a um, hit or miss. And when you miss, you miss. <laughs> okay. So we're about to go back to my room. So I can edit this vlog and just wrap my hair up and go to sleep. I am tired. I'm wearing a bun tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to put no rollers in my head. Should I get some checkers? I did not come all the way to Atlanta just to eat Wendy's and checkers. I'm mad at myself today. I really didn't eat the food I planned to eat. I have a whole list of restaurants in here. And y'all know I like making lists. You know, I like planning things. Okay. I should try to go get me some soul food. But you know how soul food restaurants do. They give you the leftovers at the end of their shift. And I'm not really feeling that. So, if you don't come around 12, you ain't getting no fresh food. Period. Big Dave's cheese steaks. I'm not in the mood for a cheese steak. My stomach can't handle that right now. I was already... I had diarrhea this morning at the end of the test. I almost doodled on myself. So, I'm really just not in the mood for a cheese steak right now. That, um, Dayquil pills. Them Dayquil pills. Oh, honey, that's laxative right there. I was like, ooh. I heard br 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 in the in the test. I was like... And the dude next to me, he sat right next to me. And I had let out like a little poop. I was like, okay, let me go to the bathroom because something ain't right. And girl went to the bathroom and it wasn't right. Okay. <laughs> I know rallies, they, they food dirty. Like, it's good though, but it's just so dirty. I'm sure they, they drop patties on the ground and put them on your sandwich and then cough on it and then give it to you. And it still tastes so good. And I eat it knowing that could be a possibility. And I still don't care. Shame on me. Y'all, I haven't really been... Sh I feel like my vlog is lacking, but it's just what I'm doing. So, I apologize if y'all feel this vlog isn't what it's supposed to be. My apologies. Tomorrow is going to be better. Part 2 is going to be better because I'm ending the vlog, the part 1, at this point. Or when I get in the hotel. Either way. I'm I'm going to give y'all the apartment tours tomorrow. All day tomorrow, and we're going to go get food together. I promise. It's going to be like old times when I'm caring about my vlogs. I put my camera down and do my walk up to my car and put my key in my car. Y'all know I'm real fake. You know, real cinematic. <laughs> my apologies. Today was more of an informative day, so to catch y'all up on where I am right now. I'm apartment hunting. I'm trying to get into nursing school. I'm trying to get my second phase of my education started, you know, and I just want y'all to see the struggles of what's going on in my life and how I'm trying to fight through it. This has been a six to the set, almost a decade of me trying to be a nurse. Because I started my nursing program, like a little CNA program back in high school. So my journey has been since 2011, trying to be a registered nurse. So this is a passion. I'm bringing y'all on for the ride. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope I'm informative enough. I really feel like, like, like I'm not. If I'm missing anything, y'all want to know anything about nursing school, let me know. You can put a comment or message me on Instagram. Miss Vivian, M-I-S-S-V-I-V-I-A-N-X, like an X. On Instagram, you can DM me. I have no issue. I do have a nursing Instagram that's geared towards nursing that I will, I do update. I'm starting to update more and more. And that's future nurse Vivian, V-I-V-I-A-N. If you have any questions, I always try to respond as as best I can. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I really like look at your message, reply in my head, start doing something, get distracted, and then forget and then come back to it later. So don't be offended or try not to be. If you see that I haven't responded in like a day, just hit me back again and be like, um, I'll put a question mark. <laughs> and I'll be like, oops, hi girl. Okay, just, just, or guy, hit me up. It don't matter. If you have questions about Chamberlain, if you have questions about the process of taking the HESI or the HESI testing, if you have quite, cause that book, that HESI book, it ain't help me none. Let me part. If y'all have any questions about, like, moving to Georgia, I'm going to try to walk y'all through it as best I can. I'm trying, my budget for my apartment as well, let me tell y'all this, is, uh, like, the max I wanted was $850. But some of these apartments are, like, $864, $870, but no more than $900 I'm spending on a one-bedroom, period. I am on a budget. I have overhead. I have a car note. I was thinking about picking up my, my phone bill once I get my money money right. But I ain't told my mama yet. Um, 
but now she knows so my my camera's getting hot so just so y'all know that's the information for right now tomorrow I'm, tomorrow I'm going more in depth about my housing situation um yeah I'm more so looking at Atlanta metro area by the way not inside of Atlanta because inside of Atlanta is real hit or miss too and I don't have time to be paying thousands of dollars for a one bedroom or paying seven hundred dollars and getting robbed I guess I'll end the vlog right here thanks y'all for tuning in and sticking out with me through this whole vlog today and yesterday um Tomorrow's gonna be good. We're going apartment hunting, so make sure you tune in for part two.